Right, in this video we're going to look at some patterns that we can use to help us use the exterior angle bisector theorem. So we can see in this um, diagram we have a triangle ABC and the exterior angle is this one here in purple. And that exterior angle has been bisected. So rather than simply memorizing the ratio, we're going to look at a pattern that we can um, use to help us remember this. So this line here is important. This is the bisector of the exterior angle. So we're looking interested in the distance from where that reaches the baseline here to the end of our exterior angle here. So that distance m over the distance that we get if we, well this, this bit here doesn't extend to the baseline, but if we look at the reverse section here, we can use that whole length from the bisector to the exterior angle that's um, reflected down to the baseline, that distance there, m plus n, is going to be equal to, uh, and the important line segments here we have are the exterior angle here, AB, that side length, and the extension of the exterior angle here, AC. So that's the rule, and those are the patterns that we're going to, uh, to get familiar with. But let's look at a diagram now where we have more sides coming from our angle uh, point here A. So let's give all of these segments along the base a label, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, for all of these different line segments. And we should still be able to use that same pattern to use the exterior angle bisector. So the first thing we need is that exterior angle to find the important segments. And if we extend the line that's important here, so I'm going to work backwards this time. Let's start with this important side AB, the length of AB, and the other important side here we can see AC. Now let's see what the correct ratio is if we associate the, the baseline. So the bisector is an important line, this bisector. So the distance between the bisector and the end of our external angle here is the first important uh, length, so that's B plus C plus D. And the other important length is from that where that external bisector ends to our other important line, extending the line there, to C. And that length is B plus C plus D plus E plus F. So we can use the pattern to solve, um, use the same theory, ratio, um, for slightly more complicated diagrams. Now let's include some extra information. Let's also say that these two the interior angle of ABC, that triangle that we started with, this angle here uh, has ABC, uh, BAC is bisected also. So this is a bisector, inter interior angle bisector. Then this has a different ratio that we can use too. This length AB can be related to E, and the length AC here related to F. So we can use the pattern and this idea of the interior angle bisector in this next example here and let's see if you can use the pattern to solve the question. Good luck. 